this is teacher Bernie and today we are going to study about the shortcut division for 2 and 3 these are the divisors now as you can see here we have a big numbers a large number and we are going to divide it by 2 now you will be wondering teacher how can we divide that one? It has so many digits. So how can we divide that one? That is the lesson for today class. You know, in our conventional way of solving division, we always write here the solutions. So that is, we have a number here, we subtract, and then we bring down, bring down, until we reach the end of the number. But if we have this large number, I cannot imagine also the solutions if we are going to write it, all of them here, one page I think is not enough. And when you are already here somewhere in the, at the end, you will find it is very hard where to place that bring down, bring down here. Okay, but I will uh, teach you how to do the technique for solving this one without really writing all the solutions below this division. But before that, we are going to have review of our division because if you have only small numbers here and you put it on the wrong way in our symbol of division, it will be wrong. So let's have first review now for example we have 8 divided by 2 so we write that one as this one is a symbol of division i know you know that one and sometimes in advanced number or advanced student they are writing like this 8 slash i mean 8 fractional bar and 2 and other printed material or quiz, it is written like slush. And you'll see like that one. So they are all the same. This one is most commonly used when you are in the elementary. So you can read this one as 8 divided by 2. Now, for advanced or grade high school, this one and this one. They are all the same. Okay. How do we divide this one? How do we put these numbers inside that division symbol? So for this one, always remember this one class. The number here, whether that is a small number or a big number, is to be put here, inside here. And the one that is on the right side should be put here. Okay, so you have studied that this one is called the dividend and this one is called the divisor. When it is written in this way, the upper part will be inside here and the lower part will be outside of this prison. Okay, this is the dividend and this is the divisor. In this form class, it is the same. This 8 will be inside and the 2 will be outside. It's not like, for example, you are given like 2 divided by 8 and you are used to put the big number or the large number here inside and the smaller number here outside. Oh my gosh, will be wrong. So like this one and then you but the, uh, the 2 must be put here because it's the first one. It's 2 divided by. It's 2 divided by here. So it is like this, not like this. So that's how to write this dividend and divisor in our uh, manual. I mean this long division symbol. So let's have this one. Divis Dividing this by 2 is easy. We will not put any more the solutions here. This is how to do it. 
By the way, class, every number here has a corresponding answer above. So one, I should have a number here, a quotient. The three has also should have a quotient. The two should have also a quotient. The five, it should have a quotient. The four, there, and until the last one. And if you are advanced in your lesson, you will see that this one has a decimal point. So where's the decimal point here? If you don't see that that here, it means that the decimal point is there and you place it there. So you must complete this one. You must this one complete or else it would be wrong. If there is no number there, maybe it's zero but you have to put the zero. Everything there should have a corresponding zero up to nine quotient okay so here and here if the decimal point is not there maybe it's in here uh, here so up to there so uh, 132 million and da 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 if you have the decimal point place the decimal point first there so you will not forget so I'm going to raise this one so we can divide this now. I just showed you only that we need to put answer there up to the zero. Don't forget that we still have the zero there. So I start. One divided by two, of course, we cannot get two from one, so it is zero. So we put the zero here. Okay, that is zero above the one. But you don't need to put the zero. If that is the zero. The first one is zero. You don't need to put the zero. Okay, we just raise again the zero because we know that the one is zero. Now let's have 13. Now it's 13. You divide 13. So 13 divided by 2 is 6. So we are going to put the 6 here. Okay, the 6 there. Not above the one, not above the 2. It should be on above the 3. Alright. Now, when we divide this 13 by 2, it's 12. 2 times 6 is 12. And there is a remainder 1. You put the remainder here. That's 1 here because there is a remainder. Okay. Now, the 2 becomes 12. So you can divide the 12 by 2. And that is exact. So here we have 6. 6 times 2 is 12. So no remainder. So we don't put anything here. The 5 will still be 5. So we divide now 5. 5, we divide by 2. So we get only 2 out of 5. Because 2 times 2 is 4. There is a remainder of 1 again. Where are we going to put the remainder 1? We put it here next to the 4. So the 4 is not a 4 anymore. It is 14. So we divide 14 by 2, so we have 7, and exactly that is 14, 7 times 2. So we leave the 14, we go to 7 only, we don't have no 1 here because it is exact. 7 divided by 2, how many 2's can we get from 7? So it is 3 only, because 3 times 2 is 6. But there is a remainder again of 1. Where are we going to put the one? There, on the 6. So next to the 6, we put that one. So 6 is not 6 anymore. It is 16. Then we divide 16 by 2. Now it is exact 8 times 2 is 16. So exactly 16. So we leave the 16 it's out. Now we have 0. If 0 is divided by 2, of course, it is zero. So we put the zero. Don't forget. There is still a zero there. Even if it's zero, you must put the zero there. Unlike the zero before the number here. You put the zero there. Now, it's zero, eight. Zero, eight. Or eight. So when you divide eight by two, it is exact. It is four and there will be no remainder there. Okay, no remainder. Decimal point, leave it, 1. 
So 1 divided by 2 is 0. You cannot put 1 because it will be 2. You cannot get 2 from 1. So we put 0 here, meaning we cannot divide that 1. It is less than 2. Alright. So where will this 1 go? It will go there. So we read that 1, just like this 1. It will be 15. We divide 15 by 2, so it is not exact. We get 7. That's 14. And there will be a remainder of 1 from 15. Where do we write that 1? We write it here. So it is not 2 anymore. It is 12. So 12 divided by 2, we get 6. Okay, we leave it. Done. 9. Not 19. It's 9 only. So we divide 9 by 2. So we have only 4. Times 2 is 8. So there is a remainder of 1. Put the 1 here next to the 7. So 7 is not 7 anymore. It is 17. So 17 divided by 2, we get 8 of 2. From this one, it is 16. But there is a remainder of 1 again because this one is 16 only and the 17. So the 3 will become 13. So 13. We divide it by 2, and that one is 6 only, so it's 12. There is a remainder of 1 again. We put the remainder here on the 9, so the 9 will not be 9 anymore. It will be 19, and we divide 19 by 2, so we get 18. 9 2 is 18, so 18. Oh, there is a remainder of 1. We put the 1 here, now it's 12. When we divide 12 by 2, it is exact 6, it's 12. Now don't leave that one. We are not yet finished because of the zero. Remember the zero or if the decimal point is here, it's okay. It's the final answer if the decimal point is here. Now if the decimal point is there, so I'm just going to move the decimal point. Now you see we don't, we don't have the decimal point. Decimal point is understood to be there on the very right of the number. When we put it here, if your answer is this one, it will be wrong. Because you still have to divide 0 by 2. And the answer here, you must put 0 also there. Because we don't end up here only on 2 but on the 0 because the decimal point is there. Okay, so let's have this one. And now, we are through with the 2. We are going to divide this number again, that, but this time by 3. Okay, so if you are going to divide it by 2, it uh, could be 0 or none or 1, 0 or 1, 0 or 1. But this time, we are going to put 1 or 2 or exact. Meaning, uh, we don't need to put the 1 or the 2 because this one is 3. So the largest is 29. The largest number that you can divide by 3 is 29. Not 30 because 30 is 10 already. So either the, one, the number that we are going to put here beside these numbers here will be 1 or 2 or no number at all. So we start here, kids, this is 1 divided by 3, so I said it's 0, so I'm not going to put any more than 0 here. So it is now 15. Now we divide this by 3, so it is 4, right? So we have 4 here, write the 4 above the 3 and not above the 1 or 2. So 4 times this is 12. You count how many up to 13? 12. 13. So it is 1 only. Then you put the 1 next to the 2 here. So it will be 12 now. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay. Leave the 13 now. It's okay. 12. We divide it by 3. So that is exact again. And we have 4. So are we going to put something here? No. Because it is exact. So let's have 5. So for 5, it will be divided by 3. We can get only one three. So from three, we count up to five. 
थ्री फोर नो फाइव ये टू सो वी पुट द टू हियर ऑन द फोर ओके इट्स ट्वेंटी फोर नो ट्वेंटी फोर सो ट्वेंटी फोर डिवाइड बाय थ्री इज एक्सेप्ट इट इज एट ओके सो वी डोंट पुट द वन और टू ऑन द सेवेन Now we divide seven. Seven divided by three. How many threes can we get from seven? It's two only. So it is six. And then we count up to seven. Six, seven. So only one. Then we put the one here on the six. So it is now sixteen. We divide sixteen, not six, by three, and we'll get five. So that is fifteen. Count up to sixteen. Fifteen, sixteen. It's only one. Then we put the one on the zero. So the zero becomes ten. We divide ten by three. So we know it is three, nine. And then count up to ten. How many only? Nine, ten. Only one. Then we put the one here. The eight is not eight, but eighteen now. So divide eighteen by three. So it is six, exact. Okay, one alone, not eleven, not twenty-one, but one. One divided by three is zero. Don't forget to put zero. So we are now going to divide and put the one on the five. So it will be fifteen. Okay. Instead of putting the one here, I just put okay, a line there. So fifteen divided by three. So it's exactly five. Okay. Then we proceed here. Two divided by three cannot be okay. Zero. You cannot get three from two. Now the two will go to nine. So you divide twenty nine by three. So twenty nine divided by three it is nine. Maximum, so it's twenty-seven. Count up to twenty-nine, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. So we have two. So you put the two here on the seven. The seven now is twenty-seven. We divide twenty-seven by three, so we have exactly nine. It's twenty-seven. Now we leave this twenty-seven. Now we proceed to three, three only. Three divided by three. Okay, so it is one. Okay, leave it. No remainder here. I mean, yeah. Nine divided by three. That's exactly three. Well, leave it. Two again. Cannot divide two by three. So we have zero above the two. And then, but there is a zero there. This time it will be twenty. Divide by three, so we have six, not seven, because it will become twenty-one. Here, if you want to add zero, okay, you add zero here. So here, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So you put the two here when you divide that one. It's this is still six. You add zero here. You add zero there. And you have plenty of six there. Mm, okay, that's how to divide by three. Okay, now it's up to you now to impress your dad and mom and your teacher that you can divide very long numbers in a less than a minute or maybe to less than twenty seconds. So let us start. There is one is two. Okay, by nine we have four here. There is a one here. Eighteen by two is nine. Done. This one is three. Remaining there here sixteen. So exactly eight five is two. There is a one here. So exactly because that's even. This one we have only one here, and there is a one. The twelve by two is six. The one is zero. Ten is five, exactly five. Eight is four. One is zero. That one is ten again. By two is five. 
two is one, zero is zero, three is one, and you have ten here, you have three, uh, or five here, exactly five, and two here, and uh, three here, and one there. If you want to add here, zero, so you have ten decimal point, and you have point five. Here, by three, five is one, you have 26. This one is eight, 24, 25, 26, so it's 20. This one is six, 18, 19, 20, so it's 24. This one is eight, this one is zero, 18 is exact, four, you can get one, and that's 19. And here we have 18, 6 times 18, 19, 1, exactly 6, 7 is 2, 6, 1 here, 16 is 15 by 3, it's 5, 1, we have 10, 3, and then we have 1 here, still have 3, and then we have 2 here, we have 8, we have 24, 25, and 15, exactly 5 and 3 exactly 1 and 6 by 3 exactly 2 okay that's it class i hope you have learned something from this thank you and keep safe